The average person wastes two hours and nine minutes of every workday. So if you find yourself thinking, I'm too busy to do the things that I want to do, then it's probably because you're wasting 25% of your time. But over the last three years, I've built two online businesses while also studying a bachelor's degree. And I've still found plenty of time to go to the gym every day, take multiple holidays, read, run this YouTube channel, and even watch some television. And during that time, I've developed six simple habits that I use every day to make my time management more efficient, and I'm gonna reveal them in this video. Habit number one is brain fart. Every time I look at my WhatsApp messages or open my email or look at Instagram, then I start thinking about more and more different things. That means that when I try and focus on the tasks that I need to do, then I'm thinking about my friend's holiday photos or that email I need to respond to or that invoice that I need to send out. This makes it very difficult to focus on the most important thing that I'm supposed to be doing in the moment and I can't stop my brain from wandering away from me. I also find that when I'm trying to focus in on a really important task, then I keep getting loads of good ideas that aren't related to the task that I'm working on. So after I'd been confronted with that situation a number of times and I'd forgotten about loads of good ideas that I'd had while I was busy, then I implemented what I like to call brain farts. Now a brain fart is just my funny way of saying that we need to take a minute to sit down and write about all of the important things that we're thinking about. This means getting every single idea that's in your mind onto a piece of paper and it doesn't matter how stupid the idea is. It could be something that you feel about a social media post you just saw or it could be an idea for a business that you want to start in the future. Either way, getting those ideas out of our mind and onto a piece of paper allows us to refocus on the thing that we need to do. But one thing I've noticed about brain farts is it's still very easy to get distracted even while you're doing the brain fart. So in order to counteract this, then I've set up a system where I have a timer for 60 seconds set every single time I start my brain fart, and that means that I'm forced to be concise with my writing so that I get all of my points down in bullet points and I get them out as quickly as possible so I can get back to the task that I'm supposed to be working on. Habit number two is cave mode and I've implemented this habit to fight against the world of distractions that is around us. Everything is vying for your attention at every second of the day. Whether it's social media, whether it's the notifications on your phone, advertising, your friends, your co-workers, your colleagues, your family members, even different thoughts in your own brain are fighting against each other to try and get the most attention. But attention is your most precious resource. It's the one thing that can help you to reach your goals in the fastest time, and you need to harness its full power if you want to reach your potential. And because of this, I guard my attention very closely because I've noticed that the more attention grabbing things I have around me at any one moment, then the more difficult it is to focus on the tasks that I'm doing, and that has a significant impact on my productivity. And I found that the best way to guard that attention is to make my work environment feel like a cave. That means that I don't have any distractions in my office and I'm keeping things as simple as possible. But even that's not good enough because we all know that we need our laptop or computer in our office or in our cave in order to get the work done. So how do we deal with that? Well, the most important thing that you can do is turn off notifications. And that doesn't mean just on your phone, but that means on your computer as well. Every time you're focused in on work and one of those notifications flies in from the top of the screen telling you you have a message or an email, it's a few more minutes of time that you've lost in that day because it's a massive distraction from the task that you're supposed to be doing. The cavemen never receive notifications, so neither should you. Habit number three is clock blocking. I've noticed that life doesn't work out for me if I'm just going with the flow. That one of the biggest reasons why I left the corporate world is because I wanted to be back in control of my own schedule. And when I was working nine to five, then I had a very rigid routine that was forced upon me, which is very frustrating because I wanted to do things like go out for a walk in the middle of the day or meet my friends at 3 p.m. or go and get a haircut or go to the bank when it's actually open. These are all of the benefits that I obtained when I became an entrepreneur and started running my own schedule, but it also means that nobody's implanting a schedule on top of me that I must follow. But when I left that corporate job and started working for myself, I didn't immediately start scheduling my day. That means that I was sitting down at the computer and then pretty much doing whatever I felt like. And a lot of the time, that was stuff that wasn't important. It was doing things that I thought were important, like modifying my logo or changing the fonts on my website. But actually what I was in doing was avoiding the most important tasks that were gonna move the needle in my business. And I wasn't doing any of the things that I had to do during the day. And I ended up working late into the evening to try and get the jobs done. I also found that every time I sat down at my laptop without a plan, then I would end up procrastinating and feeling confused about what to do next. So in order to counteract this, then I started taking my calendar and blocking in clear time slots where I need to work on specific tasks. But this isn't just about creating a calendar, you need to make sure that it's formatted correctly because it's not very efficient for you to do five minutes of emails, followed by a couple of invoices, followed by studying for 30 minutes and then hop onto social media. 
Instead, what we need to do is make sure that all of the tasks of the same type are clock blocked exactly next to each other. So I found what works particularly well for me is scheduling all of my time to respond to emails into one block of time all of my invoicing to be done in one block of time and all of my admin work to be done in one block of time. That means that I'm not constantly switching from task to task. And I've also implemented this system in my personal life by doing things like cooking two or three meals at a time every time I turn the stove on. Habit number four is self-reflection and that's because humans are easily led by instinct and emotion. And I'm definitely one of those people. I often find myself doing things on autopilot without ever stopping and wondering the reason why. And sometimes our emotions even make us do things that feel productive when they're not. Like dropping everything that you're doing and then jumping onto the internet to research a subject that you suddenly became curious about. But if I follow these random curiosities and instincts, then I can easily lose hours from my day without even realizing it. I've also noticed that sometimes my concentration is just not there and I can't really understand why. I find myself mindlessly hopping from task to task I have a really strong desire to look at social media. I feel agitated and restless and I want to just get up and go outside. These are all of my emotions and instincts taking over my body and taking over my mind. But in order to counteract this and actually start to understand what the problem is, I started to implement self-reflection minutes, which is something that I schedule now on my calendar two or three times per day. And during that time, I hop onto Notion and fill out a self-reflection worksheet which asked me a very simple five questions. And by filling that out, then I normally get a better understanding of why I feel restless, why I'm not able to focus, and if I'm working on the most important tasks. Once I have that information, I can then decide what to do next. Do I need to take a one minute walk? Do I need to change this task that I'm working on? Or maybe I just need to go downstairs and have a snack before I get back to work. Either way, just understanding the underlying reasons why I'm struggling to focus, make sure that I stay on track and saves me a bunch of time every day. Habit number five is road mapping. Did you know that the average human makes over 35,000 decisions every single day? And it's all these small decisions that you make that add up to significant gains or losses in time. And I've noticed that when I lead with my instincts, then life generally doesn't go the way that I want it to. And my human instincts are for fast pleasure, they're for comfort, they're for escape escapism and all of that leads me to do things like hop on social media for a dopamine hit or suddenly start researching things that I'm curious about on the internet or avoid difficult work tasks because I don't really enjoy them and instead focus on things that don't really move the needle in my business but hey they're more enjoyable and they feel important. So to counteract this then I take a one minute decision making break every couple of hours. It makes me feel much more intentional about my day and allows me to make conscious decisions that benefit me and my time. But the real key point here is to understand exactly which task are most beneficial for your life and your business. And one thing I use with all of my coaching clients is something called the impact scale. This is where we create a scale of all of the tasks that you could do within your business. And then we give all of them a rating out of 100 of how important they are, how much they move the needle in the business and how much time and effort they take then we can make sure that the most important tasks are being put onto your calendar. Because it's very easy for us to put a lot of work tasks on our calendar that keep us busy, but actually don't have that bigger impact. And in that situation, you're just gonna be very busy, you're gonna be working a lot of hours, but you're not going to be productive. Habit six is exercise snacks, and that's because humans are not designed to be sitting behind a desk for eight hours per day. In fact, we're designed to be out foraging for berries and building fires and running away from predators. I actually start to feel a little bit physically agitated when I'm sat behind a desk for more than a couple of hours, and that's completely normal. I get fidgety, I can't focus, and it just ruins my productivity. It doesn't work. So to counteract this, then I implement what I like to call exercise snacks. And that means every one to two hours, hopping up from your desk and just taking a one minute exercise break. Now there's obviously a number of ways that you can do this and it depends on what kind of exercise you enjoy and which one actually works for you. But the ones I found work best is just doing some press ups, doing some jumping jacks, or if I've got time, going out for a quick walk around the block. And here's a bonus tip. If you do actually take a walk around the block, then I suggest that you don't wear headphones while you're doing it, because that will then allow you to have almost a meditative state and get all of the thoughts out of your brain while you're walking so that you can come back to your desk feeling refreshed and ready to focus. But I found that working for eight hours a day is absolutely impossible unless you follow the habits that I've outlined in this video.